Hi friends, Laura here over at Hello Cute Crafts and remember a couple weeks ago I got the Sizzix Big Shot die cut machine? I did an unboxing and I did my first craft. So I want to share with you the most adorable faux leather earrings. This was my first craft and I'm going to share how to make it with you today. So these are the supplies you're going to need for today. So the Sizzix Big Shot came with the base plate and the cutting boards. So you'll have that. I also purchased a little um, tool from Sizzix that goes and gets rid of all of the little holes. I'm not sure what it's called, but it'll be linked in the bio. I purchased the cutest little earring kit from Amazon. So. This was St. Patrick's Day specific, but as you can see that um, some uh, a die cut like this could actually be used for everyday earrings depending on the, the leather that you got. And I got a package of faux leather that came with the die cuts. And then I also picked up a earring making tool kit. So it came with all of the accessories to make the earrings and the tools, pliers, and it even came with little cardboard backing and plastic sleeves if I wanted to sell or give away to friends. So this came with the kit I got at Amazon. So it came with all of these faux leathers as well as all of these little die cuts. I like the, um, obviously I like the St. Patrick's Day theme, but you can use this one that I'm using today for any particular occasion or any faux leather. So that's one we're gonna to use today. And then I'm going to be using the green plaid that I had already experimented with because I thought it was just the cutest little pattern. So let me go ahead and get ready for that and we'll be right back. So I'm going to make these one at a time because I don't have an identical set. I know that some kits do come with multiple so you can make your earrings all at once but I'm simply going to make them one at a time today and just going to cut off a piece and then we're going to place it in our tray so using the Sizzix Big Shot there is a standard platform that will go inside because this is a very thin die cut I'm going to apply the thin die adapter. Then we're gonna put on a cutting plate. Then I'm going to place the faux leather with the um, die side down. We'll place it in there. We'll apply our top cutting plate. And this just takes a little bit of experimentation. So what I have found is that I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times. And when it gets to the die plate and the leather, it gets a little tougher, but this is your exercise. So I'm just gonna go back and forth, maybe three or four times, just to be safe. Just like that. And while I'm doing this, it's just a nice reminder, if you could go and subscribe if you have not already, comment, like, the more you and your friends see my channel, the more content I can create. I would appreciate it so much. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So it should cut through, it did. And then I use this little tool. I don't know what it's called, but a little poker <laughs> from Sizzix. And it'll go get the little hole out for me. Just like that. Okay, so there you have it. We have an earring. I'm gonna make one more and then we will assemble.
Okay, so let's take a look. We should have the matching set. And there we have it. We will poke it. So there you have it. You have your set of faux leather earrings. The next step is going to show you how to attach the backings so that we can wear them. Okay, so we're going to turn this into this. And all we need is this cute little beginner earring making kit that I purchased on Amazon. I'm sure they have them in craft stores as well, but um, I've been pleasantly pleased with this one so far. So it comes with everything you see. It comes with the little hoops that go into the earlobes and then the little rings that attach to the hoops that attach to the faux leather. It also has this little ring that you put on to assist you with opening up these little tiny rings. It comes with tweezers and pliers as well as these little paper backings for cute display and plastic bags so that you can pass it out as well. So let's go ahead and make one um, today. So let me grab one with my tweezers. There we go. I'm not going to use a ring today because it makes it a little bit more difficult for me, but um, it may be helpful for some. So you're going to want to open up the ring like this. I don't know if you can see it. You need you need a little bit of a opening in order to attach to the leather. So we just attach the leather into the hole through the ring, like so. Okay, and then you're going to attach your earring piece with it showing back so it lays into your earlobe correctly. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then you close it up with pliers. Like so. And there you have it, you have an earring. Super cute, right? So you'll end up with something like this for both and you can definitely, like I said, use this for any other faux leather. I was pleasantly surprised and pleased with this set that I got as my starter set. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks friends.